Continuing coverage of CES 2023. I forgot your name already. Laurent, Laurent. from Unistellar, CEO of Unistellar. There you go. And Unistellar, that's this thing right here. Telescopes, gotta love the telescopes. We're gonna talk about that next on Geek and Zing. Unistellar telescope. Tell us a little bit about what makes this so special. Well, we have four elements at Unistellar. Uh, first of all, at Unistellar, we are dedicated to making very powerful instruments, very powerful telescopes for the consumers. Because of that, we have to focus on four key elements. First element, we have to make very uh, um, telescopes that are very easy and pleasurable to use. So th we made. Uh, this is why we make smart telescopes. Our telescopes are so smart. How smart are they? Uh, they're so smart that you can you just have to set them up on their tripod, turn them on, and then they self-calibrate. Really? By taking a picture of the sky, taking a GPS position, they understand where they are, what they're observing, and from there they propose you interesting object to see at the, depending on the moment and the, your position. Okay. You select any of those objects, it points at them, show them to you and give you information about them. Okay. That's the first element. Smart telescope, easy to use, fast to use. Yeah. Ready for the consumer. Second element, consumers tend to live in cities. Cities are polluted. Yeah. So we worked our asses to develop light pollution reduction technology. Okay. So you can observe even from downtown Las Vegas if this is where you happen to live. Okay. So I could see the stars. I could be sitting right in front of one of the brightest signs on Las Vegas Strip. And still no, see the stars. No, come on. You don't. You have to hide a little bit okay. uh, from direct light. But but you, even, you can still be there. Still be light, and then you can yeah, still catch. Yeah, there okay. there is there will be the halo of light pollution above the city. Yeah. That would not. That will not prevent it from seeing the most interesting objects. Okay. Wow. So. And, and third element. Hey. Oh yeah. I, I wasn't finished. Okay. Sorry. Third element. We developed enhanced vision technology that allows you. To observe objects that you could not see before with a normal telescope. Okay. This uh, enhanced vision technology allows the telescope to accumulate light thanks to it, its very sensitive sensor. Okay. And uh, doing uh, short exposures that are stacked over time. Okay. So in a matter of seconds or sometimes minutes, when it's a very faint object, you can reveal galaxies, nebulae, comets that you can yet yeah, you could not see before with a telescope. So what it's it's taking like multiple pictures, is yeah. that what it's doing? And then uh, layering it together to give you yeah. a, because uh, yeah, when you start zooming out to the stars, you know, even the smallest vibration could shake a, shake a star, but this could help bring it into clarity, correct? Yeah, yeah, it builds up, and actually the, the beauty of it is that, is that the, the exposure is progressive. You see the image building up. Okay. Is it like with your iPhone when you take a picture without the lens yeah. and it just kind of fills in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Similar, similar. Very similar. Okay, similar perfect. impression. And fourth element, these are connected devices. We have 10,000 users around the world. And this is very valuable for scientists. It's the first time in history they have such a huge network of telescopes. Wow. Uh, so, so I could be at my home. You could be at your home. I could say... Hey, take a look at this, and then I could send a, uh, a coordinates to you, and then your telescope would then point, uh, would figure out where you are, and then point to the exact spot that I'm at. You could do that, but we haven't developed that specific application yet. Okay. But what we have developed soon. is <laughs> yeah, soon it's coming. We do uh, regular fifth element. That's the fifth <laughs> element right there. We're it, it Bruce will Willis. This it is will awesome. come. It will come in the in the near future. Okay. <laughs> but what we have now is a partnership with NASA, okay. who is interested in being able to um, reach our users and those who volunteer, okay. they can join observation campaigns uh, in different fields of, uh, of NASA research. Okay. And uh, uh, right now we are proud to have already seven uh, publications in peer-reviewed scientific journals okay. that name some of our users as co-authors because they collaborated with NASA in some research. Oh, wow. so, uh, there are, so if you find a comet or... or, or you know, some rock that's coming towards the Earth and we're going to have to set up a rocket ship to destroy it or something like that, then you could, you could call the comment you. It's a good example, but <laughs> it happens actually to be in fields that are a bit different than, than that. Yeah. Actually, it's in the field of exoplanet research okay. that uh, the NASA partners with us. Okay. And I quoted two Bruce Willis films, so that's <laughs> yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. So. All right. So, Eunice, I'm, 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 I'm sold. We, we t you, you can extract the pictures 
the, the telescope is making while you're observing. Okay. And it's it's the best thing you can get. Okay. And that's where this app comes in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the kind of objects you can see if you want to show your audience. Let's flip it up. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can observe, you know, nebulae like that. This is a uh, Jupiter. Jupiter yeah. All the, the pillars of creation you, you can see if you if you zoom in a little bit. Wow. Um, what do we have next? Wow, this galaxy triangle galaxy, beautiful. Holy, wow. Oh my goodness. And this sombrero galaxy I like as well. You see it uh, from the side, like you see the Milky Way. It's really interesting. Wow, yeah. Is this running on battery? Is this running, you have to plug it in or what? Yeah, battery. Yeah, so you plug it in every once in a while, but it's a it's about 11 hours battery on this model. Okay. Nine hours on the other one. Okay. Uh, uh, two and a half hour recharge type time? Uh, yeah, it has a quick charge okay. where you get to half of the charge in less than an hour. Okay. So it's quite cool. We had so many cases of people having their iPad or their phone not charged enough is that we developed a feature where you just connect to the telescope and suck a little bit of power from it to recharge your phone <laughs> or your tablet. So you there don't you have go. to worry about that. Because, you know, the night observation happens at the end of the day, and this yeah. is when your your devices tend to be discharged. Is it a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, that, that go, or is it just Bluetooth that connects back and forth? No, it's Wi-Fi. It I, Wi I don't remember exactly which one, but it's... Yeah. Yeah. So this unit right here, how much does it cost? Uh, so this is two thousand five hundred US dollars. Okay. And the other model is, is four thousand five hundred. Okay. What's the model name of this one? This is Equinox Two. Equinox Two, and the other one is EV Scope Two. EV Scope Two. All right. Amazing stuff. Does it come with the telescope and tripod, tripod and everything? Everything. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. You don't need to change any lenses. Do you have to? Do, what about? What about focusing? Uh, it's a manual focus. Okay. Very handy. Very easy. You see the stars okay. when they when they uh, sharp. You just okay. you you good. No need for calibration of uh, the uh, of it's the self, mirror. It's self calibrate. So. Bruce Willis. Yeah. So now I said it three times. <laughs> it's, it was trifecta head. Bruce do it. Willis. Bru now it's four. Oh my goodness. It's Bruce Willis. Bruce you know, Willis. if we say Bruce Willis enough, maybe he'll show up. God hear you. What? Bruce uh, hear you. Uh, Bruce. Please, Bruce. <laughs> anyway. Uh, where do people go for more information? Unistellar.com. Unistellar.com. Not BruceWillis.com, but <laughs> Unistellar.com. You're good to go. Well, thank you very much Thanks for your time. Your this is awesome. I love I love looking at the stars. I hate squinting. In the, especially if my bell's palsy. It's hard to, you know, close my eye to go through that. That So something like this, I am very interested in. So we got a lot of great action at CES. Some cool stuff to check out, including the stars like Bruce Willis. Check it out over at geekazine.com, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, I'm out of breath. Bruce Willis is out of breath. Are you out of breath? We're all out of breath, so we're all out of breath. So until next time, you guys geek out, take care, and keep looking at the stars. That was a, who, who said that? That was uh oh, he used to be, a, he was an astronomer. He did American TV. Bruce Willis? That was, oh, it could have been Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis could have played him. Yeah. So anyway, keep looking at the stars and geek out.